All right, uh, in this uh, video, we're going to uh, define arithmetic progressions and derive the basic formulas uh, which uh, can be used to work with uh, these. Uh, now, notice that uh, the term arithmetic progression uh, is similar to arithmetic um, sequence. So, so some books are going to use arithmetic uh, progressions and some books are going to use arithmetic sequences is exactly the same thing so well what is an arithmetic progression okay so if you have got uh, a uh, sequence of numbers uh, t1 t2 uh, t3 t4 uh, perhaps t5 this could keep going um so t here uh, stands for term and uh, the subscript uh, one two three or four stands for the position of the term so if uh, these are equidistant from each other so if the distance between successive terms is the same uh, in this case uh, we are going to call the distance D then we have got uh, an arithmetic uh, sequence so the numbers uh, consecutive numbers are equidistant from each other what this means is that um, you can get each number uh, by adding that number D uh, to the previous number or term so for instance t2 we can edit uh, we can get it by adding d to t1 t3 can edit by adding we can get it by adding d to t2 etc t4 we can get by adding d to t3 okay the the number d uh, is is called the common difference okay number d is called the common difference so um what is happening here is uh, each of these numbers uh a distance d from each other so you can get this one by adding d to this one but Similarly, it means when you say T2 minus T1, you get D. You say T3 minus T2, you get D. You say T4 minus T3, you get D. So that's why we call this number the common difference, right? Okay, so from this, it means we could write T2 in terms of T1. So T2 is going to be T1 plus D. Okay. And uh, similarly, T3, um, well, I'm just going to write everything using T1. So we can get to T3 from T1 by adding D twice. So that means T3 is going to be T1 plus 2D, maybe. I'm going to, let me write this one here. So T3 is T1 plus 2D. Then similarly, T4, uh, we can get to T4 from T1 by adding D three times. So that's going to be T1 plus 3D. Uh, similar T5 is going to be T1 plus 4D. Now, what you're going to notice here is that uh, this number is always one less than this one. This number is one less than this one, one less than this one. So, what it means is that uh, T60, for instance, term number 60, going to be T1 plus 59D. So, from this, we can generalize, okay? Can write a general formula so tn the nth term 
of uh, an AP is going to be T1 plus we need to subtract 1 from this one going to be N minus 1 D so this formula here is what we call the formula for the nth term of an AP okay so that's the formula for the nth term so using this formula we can find the nth term without having to find all the successive terms before it so we can like find term number 60 straight away using t1 and d all right so that's the first formula we are having um we're going to derive two more formulas and then from there we're going to look at some examples the next formula we need is the formula for the sum of the first n terms okay so the sum of the first n terms of a g and a p okay so this one we're going to call it uh, uh, s n so t1 plus t2 plus t3 all the way to t n so notice that the sus subscript here always uh, represents the number of terms so that means uh, S10 is going to be the sum of the first 10 terms. S15 is going to be the sum of the first um, 15 terms. Okay, we're going to derive this by using a uh, practical example. And then we are going to fit in the symbols. Okay, so let's consider the following sum. Um, let's consider the sum of uh, multiples of 5 uh, 5 plus 10 plus 15 going to look at multiples of 5 between 5 and 195 so this would be 185 190 and then 195 okay let's call this um, sum s okay now what we're going to do is um, this sum we can work it out by writing the numbers in the reverse order should still give us the same sum because um, uh, addition is commutative so 5 plus 10 is the same as 10 plus 5 so this time I'm going to start with 195 then uh, 190 then 185 then the last three terms are going to be uh, these terms we have here so 15 10 and then 5 okay then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two lines, okay? So I'm going to add uh, this line onto that line. And uh, the way we're going to do it, we're going to um, add corresponding terms. So S plus S is going to give us two of those. Uh, and then 195 plus 5 is going to be 200. Then 10 plus 190 is going to be 200 again. 15 plus 185 is going to be 200. In fact, you're going to find that if you add all the corresponding terms, all of them are going to give you 200. What this is showing is that uh, uh, an arithmetic sum is always going to have some symmetry with it okay uh, by the way we we didn't uh, qualify this as an arithmetic 
sequence, but it is arithmetic because 10 minus 5 is 5, 15 minus 5 is 5. So the difference between each of these is 5. So, But um, the um, symmetry I was talking about is that when you add the first term to the last term, which is what is happening here, you get 200. But then the second term plus the second last term is also going to give you 200. That is also going to give you 200. So when we do this, okay, so uh, this side, we're just going to have uh, two hundreds, but the number of them is going to be the same as the number of terms here. Well, these are multiples of five, so to find out how many they are, we we'll simply have to say 195 divided by five, okay? So that's going to give us... Uh, um, 35, okay, um, so, because um, uh, 5 goes um, 3 times into um, 15, then remainder 4, it's actually going to be 39, okay, so it's 39, so it's going to be 39 of these. So that means here we are going to have 2 times s is equal to 39 times 200. So that means the sum is going to be 39 over 2 times 200. Okay. So this we can work out here. Um, simply going to be... 39 times 200, so it's going to be 3,900 or 3,900, okay? But uh, from here, we want to generate a general formula. So, um, in the general formula, we need to uh, define each of these numbers, especially these two. So, the 39 is the number of terms which we had in the summation so we're going to say here number of terms divided by 2 then the 200 is uh, the term you get by adding the first term to the last term by symmetry second plus the second last gives you the same so I'm going to say here times uh, the first term plus the last term, okay? Um, then, in terms of our summation here, this one, the number of terms here is N, okay? So that means uh, this is going to be N here. First term is T1. And the last term is Tn. So that means that Sn is going to be n over 2 into T1 plus Tn. And so this is the formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. Okay. Now, um, so this formula is going to be useful when we know the first term and the last term. Um, but there are going to be cases where we don't know the last term. So we're going to uh, derive another version of this form here. Okay. So this one, since Tn is T1 plus N minus 1D, which we just derived here is the formula for the nth term so what we're going to do is we're going to take this here and substitute it here okay so s n is going to be n over 2 t1 and then instead of tn we're going to plug in t1 n minus 1 d then these two are like terms, 
So yeah, that's going to be n over 2, uh, 2 t1 plus n minus 1 d. Okay. So this is the other version of the formula for the sum of the first n terms of n a p. So this one is useful uh, if uh, first and last terms are known. If first and last terms are known. Uh, this one is useful if first term and common difference is known. Okay. So if T1 and D are known. All right. So these are the those are the three uh, key formulas uh, that are going to enable us to work with uh, um, arithmetic progressions. Um, before we end this video, um, generally, uh, if we know um, T1 and uh, and D, finding T1 and D uh, is always going to be key. If we can find T1 and D, then we can find anything else uh, in an arithmetic progression. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Um, you can subscribe, please do subscribe to find other similar videos. After this one, there's gonna be a series of videos on examples of uh, arithmetic progressions.